Hello, hello, hello everybody! I am Scuttles, and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. So, when all the big news got revealed earlier during the Summer Games Fest livestream, Jurassic Ailey and I went through as many different sources of information and news that we could possibly find in order to figure out as much about this upcoming game as we possibly could. And in doing so, we stumbled upon something very, very interesting, so be sure to stick around. If you go to the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Steam page, and then you scroll down to the About This Game section, you can find some interesting information. For starters, it says that Jurassic World Evolution 2 is the much-anticipated sequel to Frontier's highly successful Jurassic World Evolution. Building upon the groundbreaking and immersive 2018 management simulation, it introduces a compelling new narrative campaign, incredible new features, and awe-inspiring new dinosaurs brought to life with captivating authenticity. Together with expanded construction and more customization options, the result is an even bigger, better, and more authentic Jurassic World game. For starters, the story that this game will be telling is none other than the events following that of Fallen Kingdom. Apparently there will be lead effort to control, conserve, and contain dinosaurs as you work alongside iconic characters from the films including Dr. Ian Malcolm, voiced by Jeff Goldblum, and Claire Deering, voiced by Bryce Dallas Howard. And in this section right here where it talks about how we must create our own Jurassic World, it actually mentions that the base game will come with 75 prehistoric species, including both the highly requested flying and marine reptiles. That's right, folks. We're not only going to get true pterosaurs instead of just the little looping animation that we got in Evolution, but we will also be getting new aquatic species, which is absolutely incredible. Even more interesting is what's mentioned next, saying that you will be able to see them seek territory, fight, and interact with staggering realism, meaning that we will be getting new behaviors, and all sorts of new mechanics and animations that we have never seen before. And I find it very interesting that they're going to be seeking territory. I had never really considered the fact that the dinosaurs could be territorial when playing Evolution, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out, and how it could also affect the different comfort of the different creatures on the island as well. And now this little bottom section right here is the crown jewel of this Jurassic World Evolution 2 news. So if you only want to know the biggest and best stuff that's being revealed, this is what you want to know right here. Play with Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory mode lets you play through key moments of your favorite films with a twist. Experience what-if scenarios from iconic Jurassic World and Jurassic Park films. With each level set across eras and locations from all five of the movies, immerse yourself at the heart of the Jurassic World franchise and see how things turn out when you are put at the helm of managing new challenges and unpredictable outcomes. So this is extremely interesting to me, and it's something that I never would have expected or even considered making if I had ever had to think of things to make a unique simulation park builder game. Essentially what it sounds like this is saying to me is that there will be pre-made maps, similar to how you can download a map off the Nexus form, and it'll be in a certain state of something is about to go wrong, and you have to either do your best to prevent it from going wrong, or resolve the issue before it's able to spin the park into irrecoverable, that's a big word for me, wow, chaos. <laughs> I can already see it in my head where the two four explorers pull up at the T-Rex exhibit and all of the power goes out across the park and the Rex is about to bust through the fence and then we must do our best to either save the park from being in absolute shambles or possibly even prevent it by pulling the power back online before things get out of hand. And that just sounds super exciting to me. Or perhaps things will have already gotten out and they're about to fight with each other and you could lose millions of dollars if these two creatures tear each other apart. So you must swing in on your ACU helicopter or something and tranquilize the two creatures, breaking up the fight before it gets too late. I don't know, I feel like there's so many interesting possibilities that could happen with this and I'm very excited to see where it could go. And honestly, I would just love to know your thoughts on this down below because I, I could go on about this all day, but at the end of the day, it's just going to be a bunch of little, very fittingly, what-if scenarios and that won't get us anywhere. But one way or another, I am so excited for this game to finally be fully released and open to the public coming later this year apparently. And it just could not be a better time to be a Jurassic Park fan. So if you're excited with all this new Jurassic World Evolution 2 news, then I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it both informative and entertaining. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye.